right in here. I'll, I'll even pull them up a little bit further. I'll pull it up in here. So and clip it in. See this guard here? He'll clip that off. But notice he didn't clip it off ahead of time because you don't know what it's going to do when you glue it. You just clip this part in. And then he'll work on this tail head from here all the way down our top line. But you won't put glue everywhere down that top line. Visually right now, look at her top line. Try to think in your mind, where is he going to put some glue in here to correct some of the top line structure that you might see a dip or might not be as level? Will he glue it at all? Or will he just clip it? So that's what, that's what you gotta find out and how your cattle are, are put together, how their structure is at home, to see how you would correctly get them ready for a show. Otherwise, they don't quite look right. That's why the advantage has got, you always see cattle in the stall that you think, well, I can be death calf easy. I can be death calf easy. You do that at the big shows and then you go out in the show ring and you don't even think it's the same animal that they have. Wow. Because they correctly fitted it. And not only did they correctly fit it, they knew how to get the hair to stand right. And when clipping it, they knew how to get it look perfect, and that hair is just perfect. You know, I don't even think it's the same animal. They didn't do anything illegal. They you notice what he's doing on this back leg to make the bone look? He boned it straight up up front and pulled it. On the back of the leg, he's peeking it backwards. See how he's pulling it out? That's going to make it look wider bone from the side. And that's what you want it, want it to do. Now, your goal is to, is to let that glue dry. You can't clip that very good when it's wet. And if it's wet, the more she touches things and the more you touch it, it's going to flatten. So you want to not touch that till it's dry. Or else it's going to flatten down and you're not going to be able to get it up. But see what he's doing? And he's using what? Very little glue. Uh, contacts. If you use a lot of glue, you tend to get real gluey-eyed if you use too much and the wind's blowing right at you. Uh, that, that's pretty tough. <clears throat> See, he, watch how much of his glue is flying off through the, through the air. If you get way too close, like I said, it's going to mat it. You just want enough glue to stand it up and look natural, not enough to glue it down and look like it's matted and unnatural. See how he did that right here too? He's doing a little bit down the whole top line. And why is he doing that? Now there will be places in the summer you can't put any glue because you don't have much hair. This one's got enough he's putting down the top line. And why is he doing that? See how this hair stood up right here? See this stood up higher now? This stood up higher? He'll take those clippers and this will look just as smooth and straight as she can be when he gets done with it. without looking like she's got a lot of glue on her at all. And that's part of the thing, it, like even at, at SEMO Fair and others, you see ones that are matted glue. And they'll tend to look flatter, their hair won't stand, and they think they haven't groomed correctly, and all they've done is put too much product on there. It doesn't take that much to get it to look like. In fact, they look worse. See what he's doing to the back part too? If she's a, if your heifer is not quite level in her underline, you want more depth of body, he's got some hair back down there. He's putting just a tad of glue and pulling it straight down, and then he'll cleave it straight. Some of them go to the very extreme to, to get it and block it all and pull it straight down. And you can see at different shows, if you go to them, how they go to great extremes to work on that underline and completely block it in. Then you see those cattle on the wash rack after they've taken that out. You know it's not the same animal, but you've watched it the whole time. It's amazing how hair can change the type of an animal walking in the ring. And there's a lot of cattle in the wash rack that you think ought to stand on the bottom of the class. And yours is standing there beside it, or the neighbors had said, boy, she should have been first, and she should have been fifth. And it was the other way around on the wash rack. When you get her in the ring, you're going, wow. They really got her looking good. And that's 
technique. It's, that's the advantage they have of knowing what to do and how to do it. Posty, like straight up and down, right through here, and she walks like that. You can clip that leg and leave some longer hair on a certain place and take some more hair off of another place, and that way when she takes a step, she looks like she has the correct set to her leg. The key to that is maybe some lifestyle judging and knowing what an animal is supposed to look like when they move and travel, what the correct structure is, what correct movement is, how their feet placement and leg when they move affects that structure and, and all that goes into how she looks from a side profile. They should, when you get when they're moving, put their back foot right close to where their front foot leaves. They should walk wide enough that it's a natural gait. You, you always hear people now with steers that extra base width. I see heifers all the time now and steer, they waddle they're so wide. If you look at them straight from the side, from the rear, they, these heifers have enough base 